welcome to Sawara Farm. Today we have the task of processing all of our meat chickens that we moved down to pasture about a month ago. So we're going to show you kind of what, what we do in the whole process. Hopefully we have a couple hands coming today to help us out. We have 21 birds to process and then my aunt is going to bring in about another dozen birds, her birds to process as well. So all in all we're going to have a pretty big day here um, utilizing our setup. We can show you what's going on. These are Cornish cross chickens. There's 21 of them. Um, we're gonna turn them into meat in a harvest. And they've been on our grass pasture the last month being rotated in our chicken tractor. I'll show you how we're gonna dispatch each bird. We're gonna start here with our chicken dispatcher tool. Um, we're gonna put the bird's neck in here and clamp this down. It's pretty hard and that's gonna cause cervical dislocation to the chicken's neck. It's an instant death, it doesn't feel any pain. And it also is gonna allow the head to stay connected and the blood to rush down to the head for it to bleed out into the head. After we do that with each bird, we're gonna put them, they're gonna be flapping around a little bit. So we're gonna put them in these cones here and that's just to contain their bodies. We're gonna put them upside down so that the blood can drain down to their heads. Once they're done flapping, we're going to de-feather them First by scalding them in hot water for about 30 seconds. And then, and then we're gonna run them through this chicken defeathering tool. This sprays water and allows this drum rotates in here and allows all the these little rubber fingers to collect all the feathers off of the chickens. The feathers will run down this tube and out into the grass along with the water. We're going to process the birds with knives. They're going to be all defeathered, and we're going to gut them, take all their inner organs out, and we're going to separate the hearts and livers um, and necks into an edible organs bag. All of the rest of the guts we're going to discard, and then the um, feet we're also going to separate and keep for dog treats. And then um, we're going to get the bird all nice and clean, all the, all the guts out of it, but the meat all still intact. And then we're going to shrink wrap them into these poultry shrink bags. So you put the bird into these bags, you dip the bag in some boiling, or you dip the bag into some hot water, and then the bag shrinks all around the chicken, and then we'll put it in the freezer at that point. So. All in all, we're expecting this to take a couple hours, maybe two or three, and um, we're gonna tr just try our best to have a good time doing these birds one by one.
well we're just well we're just wrapping up here it was a long few hours um what time is it we started at seven and now it's 12 noon mm -hmm. um still got some cleanup to do what did you think of the whole process babe i thought it was good uh profit wise we made 50 bucks <laughs> after the cost of the chickens and the feed and that's what we figure and, that. and that's what it's like without the cost of all the equipment and everything so you definitely don't make a profit but um I feel like I accomplished something really good today. Yeah. yeah. Plus, yeah, we provided food for our neighbors, our neighborhood. We're providing to the community, and um, we're learning skills that not a lot of people have, and that's I think the most important part right now. Yeah. You know. Yep. So we're gonna go rest. We're gonna go <laughs> sleep for the rest of the day. No. <laughs> but if you like this kind of stuff, give our channel a like that thumb and subscribe <laughs> for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. You're following us. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time at Solaro Farm.